Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking over five areas that are often overlooked and are essential for new players to get started. Now it may just be that these areas are great XP or free XP to start with, but they also may be things that unlock really important abilities later in the game and you might as well use them at the start of the game when the XP that you're going to be getting is actually going to benefit your account rather than grinding them out after you've maxed and you're wasting the XP. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the first area. The first activity that we're going to talk about is Anima Islands. The main reason to do this mini game is to unlock Tusker's Wrath, and also you can unlock the Devotion ability well before you'd be able to get to God Wars to be able to do it. You can also unlock Sacrifice and Transfigure from here as well, although those aren't high priorities for a new account. So to start this mini game, what you need to do is take the Lodestone to Lumbridge, run south, and then teleport using the Wizard. Just step through the portal and you will be taken to the Anima Islands minigame. So while Tusker's Wrath is by far the most important unlock you can get from here, this minigame gives a ridiculous amount of experience. By the time you get to unlock Tusker's Wrath, which should only take a few hours, you're going to be at level 40 fire making, you're going to be somewhere between level 20 and 25 divination, as well as getting potentially 20 to 30 woodcutting levels, a few herb lore levels, some farming levels, as well as a couple of agility and dungeoneering levels. Now, the reason that this minigame is so good is that the XP scales to your current level. So the more you play it, the more XP you're going to get, because the higher your base level is going to be. Now, that does technically mean that this is better to do at later levels from a pure XP standpoint. However, something you need to consider is that the XP rates available to you early game, especially as an Iron Man or a low level account with not much money, are going to be significantly lower than those that you can get at later levels. So if you get this out of the way early, you skip all of those early boring levels, and especially if you don't like questing, this is an amazing place to start. So now that you've got quite a bit of skill and experience out of the way, let's turn our head to combat and one of the best places to train combat in the game early level is Shattered Worlds. Shattered Worlds is found southwest of Lumbridge and southeast of Draenor, right near the entrance to the Lumbridge Swamps. Now, Shattered Worlds is amazing experience. It's just brilliant combat experience, and you are going to need to grind it out eventually anyway, so you might as well get it done while the experience is relevant for you. The early worlds all have level 1 to level 10 creatures on there, and you will just shoot up in XP. The high worlds do give a lot more anima, so again it's faster to do this at a later level however if you're actually just training your combat stats here which i'd highly recommend until you get the experience to be able to do elite dungeon mob runs then you're going to earn a load of anima passively you're going to be on your way to getting the bladed dive ability and also the salt the wound ability which are two fantastic abilities for pvm you pretty much need bladed dive for half of the bosses and it'll also help you just get around the world and do clues and things like that it's an incredible ability and it requires 63 million anima to get so you're absolutely going to need to farm shattered walls for a lot of hours to get it might as well get it out of the way early get your 50 odd combat levels that you're going to get within the first hour or so and then just go over to ed3 or just keep doing shattered worlds as you get higher combat levels you can go to the higher worlds you can do the challenges you can get big portions of anima and you'll be able to unlock those other abilities honestly don't pass up on this opportunity to get some amazing combat experience while you're gathering the anima i waited until i was maxed and it was just a waste of xp make sure that you go in there as soon as you can and just grinding those levels out super early on. The third area is very much going to depend on what the state of your account is. If you are a brand new player coming into the game, then absolutely the Nexus should be one of the first places that you go to. It allows you to get 37,224 free prayer XP. Now that will unlock a lot of combat boosting abilities, but more importantly, it will unlock Protect from Magic and Protect from Missiles, which are two of the three combat protection abilities that you need. The final one coming three levels later with protection from melee at level 43. Now this one is super easy to go to. It's between the boat to Anima Islands and the portal to Shattered Worlds. You've got massive demonic hands coming out from beneath the floor. You really can't miss it. Just run south of Lumbridge and it's right there. It's not the fastest prayer XP in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but it 
it's free. If you're a brand new account, just run down here, spend an hour or so of your time just getting level 40 prayer, and it will help your account out massively. The fourth place that you should get started on as soon as possible is the Abyss. Now, this is a very commonly known thing amongst mid to high level players. The Abyss is the best place to train runecrafting in the game. You can make an absolute ton of money and it is the best XP in the game for training runecrafting. The only thing that you need for this method is the Rune Mysteries quest. Now, that takes 15 minutes to complete, really easy. It gets you a couple of runecrafting levels anyway. Then you speak to the Monk of Zamorak who is in the wilderness and just complete his mini quest. That only takes about five minutes and then you've got access to the Abyss. Now, not only is this an amazing money maker and an amazing source of XP for runecrafting, which is what, as a low-level player, you 100% should be using it for, but later game, you're also going to be able to train combat here, and it's incredibly good AFK combat XP. You can just stay here, you'll get hundreds of thousands of combat experience per hour, and it's a lot more AFK than doing something like ED3, which is better XP, but a lot less AFK. Now, there's plenty of guides out there on on abyss runecrafting as well as abyss combat so if you do want to go there just have a quick look but it is really important that you get this unlocked early so then you've got that ability to train even from level one runecrafting with those much higher xp rates now the final place on this list is not something that you're going to get a huge amount of xp from it's not something that you're going to get a huge amount of money from but it's something that is going to save you a lot of frustration later game if you haven't started at the beginning of your account and that is anacron now, Anachronia in itself is an absolute haven for mid-level to high-level content. However, the thing that you want to be doing here in the early levels is making sure that you get your base camp up and running. Anachronia has a weird sort of time-gated system where you gather resources over time and then you use those resources to upgrade your base camp. That gives you a variety of different abilities and perks, including giving you extra Slayer XP on the island, giving you better Hunter XP, better Agility XP, and being able to hunt Big Game Hunter a lot easier. Now, if you get this started when you very first start your account by the time you get to the content that you're going to be doing on the island you're already going to have tier 2 lodges for everything and potentially even tier 3 for some things by having those in place you're going to increase your xp massively in the later game Whereas if you don't start it, you're missing out on so much quality of life and XP that you could have been benefiting from for the sake of a couple of minutes every day. Just go to the base camp, do the tutorial, unlock the lodestone so you can teleport back once a day and check the resources, reassign them as you need to. It'll only take you a few weeks for everything to be up and running and you to be completely completed, but that's a couple of weeks that you can do at the start of your account rather than doing it right at the end. It's going to save you hassle, you're going to thank me for it later on, just make sure you get it done. All you need to do to access Anachronia is take the Stormbreaker boat from the dig site or the Archaeology Guild, whichever you're more familiar with, and complete the tutorial. It is that straightforward. It'll take you 10 minutes to get everything done. That's everything that I've got for you today. Hopefully some of this has helped you out or given you some direction on what to do when you start a new account. Everything that I've gone through is Iron Man friendly, so you can do all of these activities as an Iron Man. If you do have any questions about any of the methods that I've gone through, leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to clarify them. As I say, if you want an in-depth guide, there are guides for absolutely every method that I've gone through out there. This is more of a just a heads up, here's the things that you should be looking at kind of video. Video. If you want some other tips and tricks videos, let me know down below. Give this a like if it did help you out and make sure that you subscribe if you do want to follow on with the videos in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in a couple of days.